All right, so I just received my Flow Nano handheld massage gun. Um, I think this is the third model from Flow. Um, I believe they have two larger ones, and this is their third model, and this is a smaller one. So nice and easy to kind of travel with, bring to work in your purse, your backpack. All right, so opening it up, we got our nice little travel pouch, about six inch by six inch. Put to the side, and we got a little instruction manual. Pretty straightforward. And here we are, the device itself. Let's see if we can get that there. So as you can see, pretty small. Let's uh, let's take this out of the box here. Yeah. So we've got the ball attachment on here. The standard and all use ball attachment, I believe. And looking at the rest of the things it comes with, have our pronged attachment. Actually has like nice little rubbery edges on it. Get some nice grip on there. Got your kind of trigger point, a little more focal attachment to get another nice little rubbery edge. And you got your broader based kind of flat attachment for like mm -hmm. larger areas, quads, glutes, shoulders. So three attachments plus the standard ball one. Oh, and also your USB-C charger. All right, guys. So let's uh, take a closer look at the Flow Nano handheld massager. It's a nice little little look. This thing. This is the smallest one I've ever seen. So yeah, you look at this guy. Look how tiny that is. Nice small handheld. I don't have the biggest hand in the world, but I mean, it's just barely larger than my hand. Or I mean, it's from tip to palm. Yeah, look at that. So you compare this to, say, the Hypervolt or the Theragun, the standard ones, those things are huge. This guy can fit right in your purse, your pocket. I mean, if you have big pockets. Um, or if you're, you got kids, you can throw it inside your diaper bag. Yeah, I mean, this thing's so portable. Gym bag. Alright. Anyways, let's turn this guy on here. So at the bottom, that's where your activation button is, your on-off button. Um, as you saw when we opened the box, you have the standard round knobbed soft foam attachment. And you also have these three, so you get the two prong for the spine, you get the flat one for, say, larger areas of your body, and then you get the nice little trigger point attachment. And all three of them have like this nice little rubbery end feel kind of rubbery uh, consistency to them. So I guess that way it won't lose grip or anything when you're massaging yourself or your partner or your friends or whatever. There you go. Uh, the other cool thing about this device here is that it also has like a thermal setting. Um, so I was reading on it. Apparently if you double tap it, you can turn this kind of metal portion on the back of the massager on and use it as a kind of a heat. Um, app applicator or I don't know, applier app applicator. Let's say for example you have like a sore muscle, you have some kind of heat that up. And I believe it goes into three different temperatures. I don't know off know them off the top of my head, but uh, yeah, so it's a massager and a heat uh, heat supply device. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's turn this guy on. So you long press the bottom, and there you go. I know it looks kind of funny on the video just because the FPS is a bit off, but that's on the low mode there. So they call this their relax mode. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that feels pretty nice. Okay, so that's mode one. Press it again, a little bit faster. Again, it looks a lot faster in person compared to what it sees on video here just because of the FPS. And the third mode. So yeah. I mean, given its size and how small it is compared to the other standard ones that are huge, it actually feels quite similar. I can do this all day. Oh, there goes my voice too. <laughs> all right, so to turn it off, Long press the bottom button, and there we go, it's off. 
Uh, to turn on the back, so the heat applica applicator, you just double press the bottom. Oh, nice, a nice little LED on the top there telling you the temperature is on. And oh yeah, you can definitely feel that. It comes on almost immediately. So you can feel that kind of uh, nice warm. Ooh. Pretty nice and warm. I mean, yeah, I mean, heat, good for, say, softening the muscles, making your uh, muscles and tissue feel more relaxed. Uh, if I press that again, so if I press that again, now it turns yellow, so that probably just means a bit more heat coming through. And if I press it a third time, now it's on red. Okay. So, I don't know how hot that gets, but that is pretty, pretty warm. But still, pretty comfortable. Especially in the uh, snowy winter that we've had, like, this year. So the only downside is you can't have both the heat applicator on at the same time as the massager, but I mean, how would you do that anyways? Under your armpit or something? <laughs> okay, so yeah, turn that on. So click that again, green, yellow, red. You can see that there. So green, yellow, and red. So three different temperatures. I'm guessing turn that off, long press, and now it's off. Now to take the attachment pieces off, super easy. Grab it by the plastic end piece, comes off just like that. And let's say for example, I wanna put this little broader base one on. And there we go. Actually pretty cool, fun, fun little device. And then the prong one, there it goes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, guys, this is the Flow Nano. Um, super handheld, super small, compact, fits in your bag, easy to travel with. Um, pretty powerful for a little guy. Uh, battery life, I'm not too sure. I haven't tested that out yet, but uh, power doesn't seem to compromise too much power for being such a little uh, device. I mean. If you watched uh, Men in Black, this would be the noisy cricket. All right, guys. Well, that's the Flow Nano. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. Uh, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit the bell notification. I know it's been a while since I posted anything, but hopefully in 2022, I'm going to try to post more videos this year. Um, dry needling ones as well. Maybe some stretches. If you have any uh, suggestions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll see if I can get them get to them now that I have a bit more time. Alright guys, well thanks for watching. Have a good one.